what's going on guys uh welcome back to the farm we're back doing sawmill stuff today uh, i have been doing some stuff with the cows but i hadn't really uh had that much of a chance to uh film that i got a lot of people involved with the head gate uh getting ready for some artificial insemination this week but uh in the meantime the weather's fairly decent it hasn't rained in like four days they're not calling for rain for a couple days it's a little bit dry so we're gonna be back here uh cutting some wood and stuff one thing i want to do is uh I, with all these slabs there's a there's a there's a gully right here uh i've got the boom pole right here but i'm gonna clear out a bunch of these trees and i'm gonna make it to where we can take these slabs with the tractor and just we're gonna dump them in this gully i uh, i got i got so many i gotta i gotta do something with it plus we're gonna do some cleaning up up here on the roadway i want to cut some trees down to try to let some more light get in there right now there's not a lot of light getting in there and i'm hoping it'll help help dry it out so let's get started Well, I ended up taking down eight trees today. Got a pretty big uh, hole in the sky. Um, these, these, the last four, I ended up using what they call a hum Humboldt notch, which is where I notched it from the bottom, as opposed to notching it from the top. So when you notch it from the top, which is a good way to, to fell a tree, <coughs> excuse me, you end up with your notch in your, in your tree do it this way that, that this one's this one's not that great but this one ended up being just about perfect you can see it's pretty flat the notch is in the bottom as far as i'm concerned God, look like a run at you anyway as far as i'm concerned it's a little bit concerned from my experience of doing it both ways both work the humboldt notch the underneath notch can be a little bit more involved. It's kind of hard to uh, keep track of of where your your undercut and your straight cut are meeting. And on on several of these, I ended up having to having to plunge cut through the side to because my cuts wasn't going to line up. It's just it's just hard to see because you're cutting from the bottom up. So anyway, I got them all bucked and cut into lengths and ready to go on the saw. Next thing is the Get to 4,000 and the log tongs out. As you 
you can see, I have already been sawing out here this morning. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I've already sawed, 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 sawed four logs. I had ten on there. Three logs. I had ten on there. And there's seven on there now. Um, and I got these one buys, which I'm still doing a bunch of one buys. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. These are about an inch and a half, inch and three quarter. These one, two, three, and then the last one, it, it ended up where I was gonna be able to make some two by fours. So I made four two by fours. And I had that about a quarter inch strip and I sawed off to uh, make them level, easier to stack. So they stack well. But right now I gotta go back to the house. Uh, got a couple things I gotta do. I've got to get my springs. The spring broke on my throttle return, so it doesn't pull the throttle um, back and let the clutch relax. And I had these two by fours nailed to the inside of my drop down loaders here, but if it falls down real hard, they pop off. So I'm gonna go get some uh, like four inch screws for that. And I need some for these two. Uh, give me a snack to eat, get those springs, and then we'll see if we can't uh, get the rest of these logs sawed up. All right, we got screws there. We got screws there. We got springs here. We got a log here. So what, what I've been trying to do is, um, I'm trying to kind of measure using the, the multiply by seven, divide by 10 rule or you take the small end of your log, you multiply it by seven, which is about, we'll just call it 10. So that's 70, divide by seven, or divide by 10, which is seven. So on a 10 inch log, you should be able to get about a seven inch can. And then I've been marking, you know, I'll, I'll mark, kind of mark out where I want it to go and then try to cut it and it's been working it's been working pretty good, I'll show you. So I should I should get a crayon, but I've measured pretty much from the center three and a half and three and a half and three and a half and three and a half. And I've made me a square. And that's gonna kind of give me an idea of because I've been before I've been trying to sneak up on it and I'd end up making like two cuts and two cuts and then have all this all these slabs left. So I've been trying to do this to really cut down on the slabs. And I've been trying to go slow, try to be patient. Take my time, stack the stack the slabs nice and neat, and all this other stuff. Um, and it's 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 worked out pretty well. So I'm gonna cut this one. I'll videotape cutting this one. These that are left here, um, a couple of them I may be able to get some two buys out of, and a couple of them I'm gonna make four by fours for stacking. And and then uh, I got some other stuff in the lay down yard. We'll take a look at it, and then we'll we'll call it a day. One thing I've been doing is these have been dragged through the dirt. I've been dragging them out of the woods, so I kind of take this uh, brush and try to scrape off as you can kind of tell where you're going to cut. And so you can go and you can scrape off as much dirt as possible to keep it from dulling your blade.
I'll, I'll probably chop that video up. So if you're seeing this after you saw me cut this log, real time, what it, what it videotaped was 15 minutes. So it took me 15 minutes to make a cant and do all this to stack it. I ended up with uh, three one by sevens, three two by fours, and about a one by four. Right at a one by four. I didn't want a four by three because like, how am I gonna stack a four by three? And I'm only making several of those are gonna be four by four, so I don't need a four by three. So I'm not gonna make you guys watch me cut more logs. I'm sure it's boring by now. Um, let me go ahead and cut these five, see what I can get out of them. Uh, I'll show you what we got at the end. I'm not gonna film that, like I said. And then we'll go over the, go over the log yard and we'll see what we got coming up next. So this is what I ended up with. A bunch of one buys. When I was making them those four by fours, I got five of those. I ended up making some was able to make some one by fours off of them and some one by close to fours. And then I ended up making a five by five because I want to make those bigger and there's gotta be at least taller than four inches because I got four inch I beams for forks on my truck, so truck my tractor so they've got to be uh at least four inches off the ground minimum four plus so i'll cut that with the chainsaw and i'll bring the tractor up here one day this week i'll toss those into the spot over here and then i'll put this one in hopefully that'll be long enough those are about maybe a little bit longer than two foot they were leftover pieces from the bunks so but anyway, we'll take this down. I didn't want to stack it on the ground, so I've been putting it on the back of the cart. We're gonna throw this in the gully and we'll check out the logs we got down here in the yard. All right, we got this chucked in the ditch. So this is part of my log yard. Um, most of these all come from those eight trees I cut down. These are, these are about 30 footers. I was measuring 25 foot for the first section because I want to try to get a 16 footer out of the first thickest section but i knew the tractor would drag <clears throat> the latter half the smaller half out pretty much no matter how long it was so some of these are like 30 30 plus feet but i've cut some of them up in the eight footers so you see i've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven eleven logs here this one right here it's a bigger one right there there is uh we may get a 16 foot two by eight out of that i don't know and then i've got a 16 footer there i've got two 16 footers here 16 plus to make a 16 foot and then i've got these and i'm hoping to make 16 footers out of they're 25 foot or more uh, i think anyway i've already cut some in the eight footer so i got eight footer there and eight footer there I just ran out of room. I filled up the bunks with those 10. So those 10 logs I had on the bunk pretty much filled it up. I probably could have put one more on there, but it was probably gonna be more of a hassle trying to put one log on there with that tractor I got. But anyway, that's gonna do it for this uh, sawmilling video. Um, I got a bunch more to do. So if you made it this far, and you wanna see more sawmill stuff, watch me learn how to sawmill, then stay tuned. Appreciate it.